ابراہیم علیہ السلام و السلام نکنے In Old and New Testament, he is mentioned by his nickname. And uh, in Holy Quran, he is mentioned by his proper name. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ آذَرَ أَسَدْ تَخِذُ أَسْنَامًا آلِهَا Surah Al-Anham Got it? Chapter 6, Ayah number 74 وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ وَإِنْ رِمِمْبَرْ وَنْ إِبْرَاهِيمُ سَدْ لِأَبِيتُ إِذْ فَادَرْ آذَرَا His name is mentioned. And remember when Ibrahim said لِأَبِيتُ إِذْ فَادَرْ آذَرَا آذَرْ أَتَتَّقِذُ أَسْنَامَ الْآلِحَا Do you take idols as God? In me or Aka, indeed I see you a Qawmaka and your people. مریم <laughs> Chapter 19, take it from I number 41. Your fellow kitab Ibrahim and remember are read in the book Ibrahim are the story of Ibrahim in Nahu Kana Siddhita. Indeed he was a man of Rosh Nabiyan and a prophet. Is a Tala Li Abhi when he said to his father, Ya Abadeo my father, Limata Budo, why do you worship? مالیا مانسی Shaitan has been a rebel against the most beneficent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Abadeo, my father, in the Yaqafu, I fear, an yamatsa kaazafum min ar-Rahmani, that the torment from the most beneficent will overtake you. Fatakuna the Shaitan i wadiya, and you will become a friend and companion of Shaitan. Now when Ibrahim addressed his father in such a way, So father became angry with him. Father began. And when father became angry with someone, yes, so he has a weapon. Get out of my house. This is a weapon. Yes. Kala he said, Aragibun anta van anete, do you reject my God, O Ibrahim, la illam tantahe? If you stop not, la arjuman laka, I will stone you to death. I will turn you to death. Vajurni maniya and get away from me safely before I punish you. Before I punish you, get out. So what Ibrahim said, he never retaliated. And he said, Kala salam. Otherwise a young man, he cannot control himself in such a situation. Can he? No. But Ibrahim was a messenger of Allah. He got maturity before attaining the age of the body. So what he said? Kala salamun alayk. He said, My father, peace be upon you. 
قال سلام عليك فاستغفر لك ربي اي ويل اسك الله سبحانه وتعالى تو فارجيف يو باي هافين ايمان باي هافين ايمان انه كان في حفيا هي انت مي موست جريشيس واعتد امور بيتن واعتدل لكم وما تدعون من دون الله ان اي شيطان وي فرام يو وما تدعون من دون الله ان فرام دو زوم يو ان وو بسائد الله سبحانه وتعالى وادعو ربي ان اي شلقال ان ما يلاج اغطاء الله كون في دعاء رب شقيا ان اي هوب ديك اي شلقال بي انبلس ان ماي ان وو كشن تو ما يلاج فلما تظلم سوبن هي هتند وي فرام دين وما يابدون من دون الله ان فرام آل دين وِدْدَيْ يُوسُ وَشِفْ بِسَائِدْ اللَّهِ وَحَبْنَا لَهُ إِسْحَاقَ فِي جَوْهِمْ أَيْزَكْ رافق إسحاق وَيَعْقُوبَ اَنْ رافق يَعْقُوبَ جِسَنَا فِي إسحاق وَكُلَّنْ جَعَلْنَا نَبِيًّا اَنْ إِيْتْ وَنَابْدِمْ وِي مَيْدِ فَرَافِتْ وَوَحَبْنَا لَهُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَتِنَا اَنْ وِي جَوْ دِمْ آخُوَ الْمَرْسِي وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ اَنْ وِي گْرَانْ جَدِّمْ لِسَانَ سِسْتِنْ عَلِيَّا آنَرْ آنْدِ تَنْزْ آف نَيْشَنْ كَمِنْ جِنْ فِيُوْتِرَ So whenever they will mention the name of Ibrahim, they will give them an honor of Ibrahim, peace be upon him, alayhi salam. Ishaq, peace be upon him, alayhi salam. Yaqub, peace be upon him, alayhi salam. Otherwise, people forget their father after one month. Yes, he is gone. They are still in Kafra. Who cares? You know what I am saying? But everyone cares about Ibrahim, about Yaqub, about Ishaq, about Ismail, about Yusuf. When we mention his name, Ibrahim, alayhi salam, Ishaq, alayhi salam, Allah says, وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ لِسَانَ سَبْكِنْ عَلِيَّا وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ لِسَانَ We have given them an honor on the terms of nation who will be coming in future until the day of judgment. Whenever they will mention their name, they will say, alayhi salam, peace be upon him. Got it? So that was one of the reasons, or one test Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wa salam, he got such a fear in him. We should write it with his father. Now go back to Surah Al-Anham. This was his debate with father. Now his debate with his nation, with his people. So the same ayah number 74. Up to ayah number 81. Got it? وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ And remember when Ibrahim said to his father, آذَرَ آذَرْ أَتَتْتَ إِذُ أَتْنَا مَنْ عَالِحَا Do you take idols as your gods? إِنِّي أَرَاكَ وِرِلِي عَيْسِهُ وَقَوْمَكَ And you are people be ظَلَالِ مُبِينِ And in obvious or manifested وَكَذَلِكَ نُرِيَنْ The same way we were showing to Ibrahim مَلَكُوتَ السَّمَاوَاتِ The kingdom of the heaven So we look at the kingdom of the heaven and the earth as well space, heavenly body, wind, ocean But who cares? Ibrahim was not such a careless person He was thinking about every single atom in the world of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Yes, sir Yes, subhanallah how it floats, this space, how beautiful it is, sun and moon, how it takes its course, the ocean, the wells, the lairs, the mountains, the trees, the plants, in the Tizariga, the ayat in the Ulil Arba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who have the core of intellect, they think about every single atom in the world of Allah. Yes. Yes or not? Here's Abu Nawaz says, Abu Nawaz is a well-known poet in Arabic language. Kewa fi kulli se in lahu ayatun 
in everything here is a visible symbol which proves that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is only one. He does not have any associate. He controls this item. He controls this one. He has created this leaf. He has created every single tissue in that leaf. Tadullu ala annahu wahidu. And the same thing is said by our body. Ke tarke darastane sabuddar nazare hoshiyar. Sadi said. Ke tarke darastane sabuddar nazare hoshiyar. Har varake daftari samare fate kirdigar. Every green leaf in tree. There's a big book or a big volume to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to it. If you will have a research, yes, in the tissues of a single leaf, you will find out Allah here. What you will find? Allah here. And as the Sadi said, Ke har gaya hai ke ad zameer o yad wakda hu la sharik la goyad Every plant which comes out and sprouts out from the earth and land, wakda hu la sharik la goyad. Implicitly, it says, Allah, wahdahu la sharika la. He is only one. He does not have any partner or any associate. Got it or not? It? Yes? So anyhow, وَكَذَلِكَ نُرِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ مَلَكُوتَ السَّمَاوَاتِ In the same way we were showing Ibrahim the kingdom of the heavens. وَالْعَرْضِ and the earth وَلِيَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُوْكِنِينَ So he may be one of those who have a strong faith with certainty in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It will strengthen your iman. It will strengthen your iman. Everything in the creature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you will think about that, it will strengthen your iman. فَلَمَّا جَنَّهَ لَيْهِ اللَّيْلُ When the night covered him over with darkness, رَعَا كَوْكَبًا He saw a star which was worshipped by his people. He saw a star which was worshipped by his people. رَعَا كَوْكَبًا So he said to the worshippers, those who were worshipping the same star, قَالَ هَذَا رَبِّي Ibrahim said, Haza Rabbi, is this my Lord? Should I worship this God? You know what I'm saying? Kala Haza Rabbi, here is a hidden word, we call it Hamzatul Istikham. Kala Ahaza Rabbi. Kala. Perfect. Ahaza. The word here is Haza. But there is a hidden istifam, which is called Hamzatul Istifam. Kala Ibrahim said, Ahaza Rabbi. Now look, just drop the Hamza. Means Hamzatul Istifam. Drop it. Yes, Allah has brought it. You know what I'm saying? And just use the tone. Kala Ahaza Rabbi. Ibrahim said, This is my Lord. Now look a big difference. If you will say, This is my Lord. You say, This is my Lord. You will lose your Iman. When you will say about that, this is my Lord, you will lose your Iman. But if you will change your tone and you will say, this is my Lord, it strengthens your Iman. Now look, tone works. So Ibrahim used the tone. Kala Ibrahim said, look at my face, yes, and my body language, and my tone. So you will come to know how Ibrahim used the word. Kala Ibrahim said, Haza Rabbi. Now you got it? Haza Rabbi. This is my love. Got it? Falamma Afala. Falamma Afala. But when it set down, Kala Ibrahim said, La uhibbul aafirin, I like not those which set down. What a God which set down. What a God or what a Lord which set down. Falamma ala al-kamara baadiran when he saw the moon rising up. Kala again said, he said to those who were worshipping moon, there were different tribes. Worshipping different stars, heavenly body, 
Now they came to dead people, those people who were worshipping the rising moon. Kala Haza Rabbi Ibrahim said, This is my Lord. Falamma Afala, but when the moon said, Kala Ibrahim said, La illam yadini Rabbi, unless my Lord guides me, La kunanna minal kaumiz zalim, minal kaumiz dhwalim, I shall surely be among the killing people and dividing people. I would have been one of the mushrikeen, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not have guided me. Falamma raachan sabazigatan, and when he saw the sun rising up, Kala Haza Rabbi, Ibrahim said to the worshippers of sun, this is my Lord. Falamma Afalat, when the sun set. Falamma Afalat, when the sun set. Kala Yaakao me, Ibrahim said, oh my people, inni bari um mimma kusrikun, I have nothing to do with all these parties, you are making a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inni wajjatu wajya, I have turned my face, lillazi to dead God, patarat samawati, who has created the heavens, wal arza and the earth, hanifan, and hanif, that is the title of the millah of Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wa salam. Hanif is one who believes in Saudi, in favor of Saudi. He is called Hanif. So the deen of Ibrahim is called Al-Millah, Al-Hunifiyah. Al-Millah, Al-Hunifiyah. And as you know, that we are the followers of the Millah of Ibrahim. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he brought the same message which Ibrahim brought from Allah, Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. That's why in a hadith, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, جِئِتُ إِلَيْكُمْ بِالْمِلَّةِ الْحُنَيْفِيَّةِ الْسَمْحَةِ الْسَهْلَةِ الْبَيْضَةِ Yes, it's called a hadith. جِئِتُ إِلَيْكُمْ I have come to you people. بِالْمِلَّةِ بِالْمِلَّةِ Milla means the religion. الْحُنَيْفِيَّةِ The title, which was the title of this deen in the days of Ibrahim, عليه الصلاة والسلام. الْسَمْحَةِ A very generous religion. Generous in a sense, it qualifies every walk of your life. It qualifies because that is not a set of a few rituals. Pray, fast, go to hajj, and pray to God, and done. What else? Yes, that's my personal business. For Muslims there is no any personal business. Every business of a Muslim is a religious business. Even though when he is fulfilling his desire, that is also not his personal business. That is his religious business. He is eating to fulfill his desire. That is religious business. To find out my earning is halal. And I am eating halal. Yes, when he drinks, that's not his personal business. He has to think about that. That the dollar which I pay, that is from halal earning. And the drink which I drink, that is not alcoholic. Got it? The meat he eats, you know what I am saying? The dollar which I pay for, that is halal. And the meat, properly slaughtered in the name of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, from our eatable animal. Our what? Eatable animal. You know what I am saying? Even though, when he is married, and he is meeting his wife, or his sister is meeting her husband, yes, that is not their personal business. That's not, that is religious business. Yes, it has its, its, its own way. Its own Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَفِي بُزْرِ أَحَدِكُمْ صَدَقَ When a Muslim fulfill his sexual desire, he will have a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, Sahaba Rizwan Allah alayhi wa sallam, they look at the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because there is something amazing. I do fulfill my desire and Allah will give me a reward. So Sahaba Rizwan Allah alayhi wa sallam, they look at the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, أَوَّيَقْنِي أَحَلُنَا شَهْوَتَهُ وَلَهُ الْأَجْرِ With the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, someone of us will fulfill his desire, he will be having a reward from Allah. So Rasul, what a beautiful way Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made them to understand. أَرَأَيْتُمْ لَوْ قَذَا شَهْوَتَهُ فِي الْحَرَامِ If somebody fulfill his desire in a haram way, by way of adultery or fornication, by way of vena, punishment is there, so they said, of course. So they said, the bottom line. 
on the opposite side, rewarding the fear. God, what a beautiful way Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was making people to understand very easily. <laughs> and they said, we will be fulfilling our sexual desire and we will be getting into reward. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ara'ayatun lau qada shawa tau fil haram. Yes, fulfillment of desire will be in a legitimate way or illegitimate way. If somebody will do the same in illegitimate way, unlawful way, so what will be the ultimate result? So that's it, that's the bottom line. If there is punishment, there will be reward. Otherwise, there will be totally injustice. God is not. You know what I'm saying? So now, the kalima la ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, ya subhanallah, is evaluate every single action of Muslim. Even though he is eating, yes, halal eating, he will be getting reward. He is bringing stuff for his own family, he will be getting reward. That's why I told you that when you are going to Costco, or anywhere, and by itself, make the intention of Sadaqah. Make the intention of You will be eating, your wife will be eating, your sons and daughters will be eating, your guests will be eating, your friends will be eating, and you will be getting into reward. Got it? Why? Because you are a Muslim. Because you are a Muslim. Every single deed and action of yours, it has a value in the sight of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Got it or not it? So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Jaitu ilaykum bil milla al-khunaytiyya al-samha. That's a generous thing. Generous in a sense, it qualifies every aspect of human life. It qualifies every aspect of human life. His personal life, his family life, his social life, his economical life, his political life, his national life, his international life. And that was Salman said, radiallahu ta'ala an, that Ya Subhanallah, what a mercy of Allah Prophet Muhammad was, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He used to teach us, he used to teach us and train us how to attend the bathroom. How to attend the bathroom. But he used to train us how to counter the superpower of that time, Caesar, the Roman Empire and the Persian Empire. Yes, he took us from bathroom, yes, towards the Caesar. So in between, everything was included. In between, everything was in, Because bathroom is the first ever approach of an individual. You know what I'm saying? And go to international politics, that is the last ever. That is what? The last ever. So Salman Raja Allah Salah says, he took us from the first ever up to the last ever. He taught us how to attend the bathroom. And he taught us how you will face Caesar. How you will face the Persian Empire. How you will say the same thing? God is a matter. And that's why Allah says, Ali Yawma Akmal Turakum, Deenakum. Wa Akmal Tu Alaykum Ni'amati. This day I have perfected for you people your religion. That's a complete code of life. That's a system of life. That's not a set of a few rituals. That's not a... Huh? Allama at that time when the British, they were controlling India. Yes? India was a domain of the British, so he said at that time, yes, because as, as you know that in every uh, category of people you will be having good people and bad people. That's natural. That's natural. So some more men at that time they were supporters of British. They were supporters of British. So Allah said, huh? کہ ملا تو ہے جو ہند میں سجدے کی اجازت ملا تو ہے جو ہند میں سجدے کی اجازت کم وقت سمجھتا ہے کہ اسلام ہے آزاد حدمہ سے دیکھ ملا when he can perform his prayer in him yes under the domain of British so he thinks that اسلام is okay but Allah says, Islam is not only that thing to pray on you. Islam means to implement it in every aspect of your life, in every walk of your life. God is a magic. Yes. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Jesu ilaykum bil milla ala khunaytiyya asamha. That's a generous thing. Asala, but very easy. This thing is very easy. Yes. We are afraid of this deen to practice it properly. Subhanallah. 
In 24 hours you cannot pray five prayers. In 12 months you cannot fast only one month. In 100 rupees you cannot pray only 2.5. In your whole life you cannot perform Hajj only once. You know what I am saying? Just for example, but let's look at the ratio. It is easy or not? Yes, you must pray your prayer in training. But if you cannot, easy, sit down. What? Sit down. If you cannot pray in sitting, lay down on your bed. Allah Akbar, Subhanahu Rabbi Al-Azim, Subhanahu Rabbi Al-Azim, Allah Akbar, Subhanahu Rabbi Al-Azim. Easy. Try your mind. Yeh tu yeh kum bil millah. Al-Funaysiyya, Al-Samha, Al-Sahla, and the last quality, Al-Bayza, it's a shining one. Nothing is dirty there in this scene. Everything is very crystal clear. Yes, that's very beautiful. That's very shining. You know what I'm saying? When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to Masjid, Sayyidina Umar radhi wa sallam, he was sitting here. He had some inscribed papers or written documents in his hand and he was sitting there. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came here and he stood close to him on his head. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam cried. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him, Mada Yatan Khattab, what's this? Othana Khattab, what's this? He said, Aura Kut Taura, the Old Testament along with its interpretation. The Old Testament along with its interpretation. Fatama Harawajur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because of anger, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam became red. Fatama Harawajur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Umar radhi allahu ta'ala, ya subhanallah, he fed the situation. So he put the document there and he stood up. And he said, a'udhu billahi min ghadabihi wa ghadabi rasooli. I seek Allah's refuge and protection from his anger and the anger of his messenger. And then he said, radhiqu billahi rabban wa bil islami jinan wa muhammadin nabiyya. I am very much happy to have Allah as my Lord, Muhammad as my messenger and Islam as my deen. This was actually a treatment which was told and taught by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to his sahaba that sometimes you will be having such a practice which caused me anger. Which caused me anger. But at the same time, just say, A'udhu billahi min ghalabi wa ghalabi rasooli. Otherwise, when I will become angry, Allah will become angry and the ultimate result will be your destruction. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was coming from time. He was thrown, his body was bleeding, along with his adopted son, Zayd ibn Haritha, Rabbi Allah ta'ala khan. And Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was bleeding from all around. So he looked at the heaven and he said, Allahumma ilah man takiruni. To whom you are handing me over? Ilah aduwi ya tajahamuni. To these crazy people, to do whatever they have done with me. So suddenly, Jibreel called him and he said, Oh the messenger of Allah, this is Malakul Jibar. The angel who has the control of mountains, who has control of mountains, if you want the people of Zion to be crushed, so just ask him, he will pick in right hand one Akshab, al Akshaban, the two mountains, that one and that one, and he will make them a sandwich in between, like this, and they are gone. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to the situation, he said, no, 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 I am going to make a dua. You people should say, Ameen. Allahumma ehdi qawmi fa inna hum la ya'lamun. Allahumma ehdi qawmi fa inna hum la ya'lamun. Allahumma ehdi qawmi fa inna hum la ya'lamun. Oh Allah, guide my people, they don't understand. That's why they have done to me what they have done. If they would have understood, they would never have done it. So that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told his companions, whenever I become angry, so say these words, A'udhu billahi min ghadabihi wa ghadabi rasooli. Radhiqu billahi rabban wa bil islami deenan. I am very much happy to have Allah as my Lord. Muhammad is my messenger and Islam is my deen. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam cooled down. His anger was gone. You know? And then he said to Umar, Rabbi Allah ta'ala. He said, Ya Umar, Amu tahawbikuna. Antum kama tahawba kata liyahudu wa nukara. Are you people are still confused in my message, in my deen, in my book? As the Jew were confused in the book of Moses and Christians were confused in the book of Jesus and they were bringing changes to these books. 
The Kali could be our wishes and desires, or they were mixing with something from somewhere else. So you are going to make something to my book from the Old Testament which is perverted, which is distorted. I fear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I have brought, it, brought you people rule, law, book, magic, beza, white, shiny, nakiya, clean and neat. Wa wallahi law kana musa hayyan lama wafi'abu illa tiba'i. This book originally it was given to most the Old Testament but I fear by Allah if Musa would have been still alive he would have followed this holy book and not his Old Testament. God your Lord, so jikitu ilaykum bil millat al khunafiya fi samhat al bayda. So khunafiya is the title of the deen of Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wa salam. Inni wajjatu wajhiya lil lazi inti daya wa tan my face to was dead Allah. Fatara samawati wa is created the heavens wal arba in the earth. Hanifan. Is Hanif. Yes, honey. وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ I am not of all Muslims, those who are making part of this Allah. وَحَاجَّهُ قَوْمُ His people disputed with him. قَالَ Ibrahim said, disputed or argued. They started reasoning with Ibrahim, عليه الصلاة والسلام. وَحَاجَّهُ قَوْمُهُ قَالَ Ibrahim said, تُحَاجُّنِي فِي اللَّهِ Do you dispute with me regarding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَقَدْ هَدَانِ And Allah has guided me. Allah has guided. And you are disputing with me regarding Allah that He should have partner. He cannot do all these jobs and work alone. He should have some subordinate. So our God, they are their subordinate. And that was the case of Mushrikeen every time. And the people of Makkah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was calling them to word one God and one Allah. So they said, أَجَعَلَ الْآلِحَةَ إِلَاهًا وَاحِدًا إِنَّ هَذَا لَشِئُنْ عُجَاءً Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, They took it, Muhammad. He's a crazy man. Ma'ad Allah. أَجَعَلَ الْآلِحَةَ إِلَاهًا وَاحِدًا We have thousands of God. We have? Yes. And still, we have lack of our necessities and needs fulfilled. Even though thousands of gods are there, but still we are looking forward to have our needs and necessities fulfilled. And he says only one God fulfills every need and necessity of every single guy. Can you imagine? In Naza Nashay on Hujab, this is a concept Muhammad is giving us. So that was the case of the king every time that Allah should have some supporter, some helper. Yes, some associates, some partners, to help him in his Godship and Godship. To help him in his... So that's what Ibrahim said. Abdan Ibrahim said, Tuhajuni Billahi Do you dispute with me regarding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Wa qad hadani why Allah has guided me. So they said, Oh, so you do not believe in these gods? Ibrahim said, No. No way. I don't believe but only in one God. In one Allah. So far. So they said, oh, how you will sleep at night? These gods will throw you down from your bed. Because you don't believe in these gods. So Ibrahim told them, Wala akhafu and I am not afraid of ma tushrikun bihi. Of those gods which you are going to make as associate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. If something happened to me, so that is life. That will not be because of your God, that they have caused me something. If I got headache, so you may not say, Oh, you did not believe in our God, they caused you headache. They caused you fever. They caused you death and death. You got accident on 180 because you did not believe in our God. So Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, he made it very much clear at that time. If something like that happened, Illa ayyaka arabbe jayha. I fear not those whom you associate with Allah and worship, except when my Lord will, will do something to cause to me. So that will be the cause of the decision of Allah. 
You are frightening me from your God and you are not afraid of my God. Your God cannot do anything, my God can do anything. You are not afraid of my God and you are frightening me from your idol. Whatever, now look, lone and alone man, that's the fun of God. And he is standing in front of countering his old nation. Yes, because why the messenger does not have fear? Say, because fear is because of two things. Yes. Fear of death. Huh? That's the answer. That I will lose my anchor. So my anchor does not have any anchor. He has nothing to do with God and what you say. That I will lose my job. I lose my business. Yes, these people sometimes they are giving me five dollars each. So they will never do me. Yes. A messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who cares? About dollars, and he does not have any fear of death. If he got killed, he said, That's what I wanted. First of all, the Kaaba. By the Lord of the Kaaba, I got into success. I became victorious. So that's what he told me. What and how should I fear those? Mashratum, those whom you associate in worship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Walata khapuna. Why do you fear not Allahum Ashraqum Billahi that you have joined in worship with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? Malam Yunazir Bi Alaykum Sultana, for which He has not sent down to you any authority or any evidence to prove your position a hak bilamni. So which of the two parties, me or you? I am one party and you are the other. Final parikene, which one of the two parties, a hakku bil amne, has more right to be in security? Me or you? My God, He can do anything. Your God cannot do anything. Yes, so I am in state security, or you people? You are in a great danger. Got it? Final parikene, a hakku bil amne, il kuntum talamun, which one of us has more right to be in security? If you know and you understand, so now this debate, that was the second test of Ibrahim. He never surrendered to his people. He never compromised on principle, you should write it. First was with his father. The second one, with his whole nation. He did not compromise on principle. He stood very firmly in front of his people. For what? For what? For what? In Nahukana Siddhika Nabiya. Nahukana, he was a man of truth. He was taken to the king. The king's name was Numrud ibn Sarha. And he was a Mushrik as well. Numrud. N-U-M-R-U-D. Ibn Sarha. Numrud, son of Sarha. And he was more worse than Pharaoh. Numrud was worse than Pharaoh. So when he came to know that there is a young guy, his name is Ibrahim, son of Tariq or Azhar. And he is speaking like this. You see? Like this, against the religion of our forefathers. Against our culture. Yes. Against our rules and laws against our system. And as you know, that the kings and rulers and people in authority, they rule people and control them based upon a specific culture which is going on. If somebody is challenging that culture, are they rule and law? Yes. So the king and the people in authority, they don't like it. Why? Because they say, who? It's what? Yes. Kodeta. Yes. We say Kodeta. They say Kodeta. God is that's a revolution. So Namrud ibn Sarha, yes, that this man is wanted. Dead or alive, twenty-five million dollars. God will not. So Ibrahim was Salam, he was captured by the agencies or by the police, and he was taken to the king. 
So the king asked him, Namrud ibn Sarkha, Yes, what's your mission? He said, my mission is very much clear. I am calling people towards the Lord of the universe, who is my Lord as well and you are as well. And he is the Lord of the entire universe. He said, my Lord? Yes. He is your Lord and your Lord. He is the creator of the entire universe. He is my Lord as well. So Namrud ibn Sarkha, he asked him a question. Look into ayah number 258. Chapter 2, ayah number... Mr. Professor! Alam Sarai Lalladi, have you not looked at dead guy, Haja Ibrahim, who argued or disputed with Ibrahim, alayhi salam, fi rabbi regarding his Lord, Allah Subha, who is your Lord? You are coming to what? Who said it? The king. Numru. Alam Sarai Lalladi, you have not looked at dead guy, Haja Ibrahim, who argued, are disputed with Ibrahim regarding his Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And why he was doing this? Allah said, yes, he was trying to protect his kingdom. And now if people will follow Ibrahim, there will be a challenge to his authority. Yes. And now Allah will mulk because Allah has given him the kingdom. And Ibrahim was a challenge to his kingdom. Allah has given him a kingdom, and Ibrahim was a challenge to his kingdom. Is a Kala Ibrahim, and Ibrahim says, Rabbi Yalladi, my Lord is that one. You, he who gives life for you may so and causes death. Who gives life and causes death. So what he said? He was a stupid man. He was a stupid man. So there were two people there. They were unwaiting left to be hung. In crimes they have committed. It was decreed already. So he asked for both of them, then bring them both. So he said that, look, these two guys have been decreed to be hung for the crimes they have committed. But I am going to give one of them a life and to hang the other one. So if these are the qualities of God that he can give life and death, I do that. So why you do not believe in my Godship or Godship? So Ibrahim and Salatu Asalaam or Shaykh said that Ibrahim came to know that he is a donkey but does not have tail. He is a donkey without tail or a tailless donkey. Yes, donkey is such a stupid animal. Yes, and it does not have the tail. So that is extra stupid. A plus. Is a Kala Ibrahim when Ibrahim said, Rabbi Allah, my Lord is dead when you say, who gives life for your mito and causes death. Kala Numru said, Anawhi, I give life for your mito and I do cause death. Look, I hung one of them. And the other one, he said, free. Kala Ibrahim, so instead of making arguments in the concept of you are you, you meet. They are giving life and causing death. What is the proper definition? What is the proper definition? So that is a supplementary discussion. So Ibrahim Alayhi Salaatu Wasalaam, he was not going to involve himself with that stupid guy and supplementary discussion. So he left it as it is. He left that subject. Kala Ibrahim said, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يَعْتِي بِشْيَمْسِ مِنَ الْمَجْرِسِ My Lord is dead Allah who is bringing out the sun every day from east. From east. He is my Lord. Towards him I do call people. فَاتِبِ عَمِنَ الْمَغْرِبِ So bring it out from west. If you claim the thing that you are God, so bring it from the west. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَبُعِتَ الَّذِي كَفَرْ So the disbeliever was utterly defeated. Look at me. And Ibrahim told him that my Lord is the one who is bringing out sun every day from the east. So you may bring it only once from the west. So Allah says, فَبُعِتَ الَّذِي كَفَرْ Utterly he was defeated. Huh? Speak it. فَبُعِتَ الَّذِي كَفَرْ so the disbeliever utterly he got defeated. 
So he was supposed to say, no, every day I do bring it out from the east, then you are not to bring it from the west. It was possible to say like that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fabuhi tallabhi kafar, that is believer, he got defeated, he became speechless. Because I stopped him. That you may not go ahead, you are a crazy guy. So this is number three. That Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, he defeated the king in discussion. You should write it. And made him speechless. He made him speechless. Number four. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam before this. That's actually, actually that is, you should put it on number two. You should put it on number two. Before these two things, or before these three things even, debate with his father, debate with his people, and debate with the king. So you should put on number one, that Ibrahim and Ephraim was around, this is right. I'll just do it as, as I am saying, let's just put it on number four. That Ibrahim and Ephraim was around, he was speaking about the oneness of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. After this debate with the king, he was under surveillance. Yes, watched by the agency. Yes, just follow this guy. Wherever he is going, bug him, the telephone as well. Yes. Got it or not? Yes, follow him. Don't leave him alone. Got it? Say yes. Yes, and the civilian. So there came a time of their national exhibition. You should write it. A time of their national exhibition, which was a part of their culture as well. And they were testing people in this regard that whosoever is against our culture or condemning our culture, or they are not uh, mean, uh, uh, joining us in our cultural activities. Our cultural activities, so it means he has something hidden in his heart. He has something hidden in his heart. Same was the case of Sayyidina Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wa salam. So for natural, uh, national exhibition, they asked Ibrahim to join them. You should write it. They asked Ibrahim, Surah Al-Fat Wa illa min shayatihi and verily among those who followed Prophet Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam la Ibrahim From among those who followed the day of Nuh, there was Ibrahim alayhi Yes, the follower of that way of Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam إذ جاء ربه بقلب سليم إذ جاء ربه بقلب سليم من he came to his lord with a clean heart the قلب سليم means with a clean heart إذا قال لي أبي when he said to his father or to me and to his people referring to these two debates as we mentioned before. When he said to his father and to his people, Maza Tabudona, what is it that which you worship? A ibgal aliyatan, it is but a falsehood. It is but a falsehood. Duna lai other than Allah to reduna that you seek to worship. For Mazan lukum birabbil alameen, so what do you think about the Lord of the when you are worshipping these gods and idols, what do you think about the Lord of the universe? Fa, so they ask him, yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is summarizing the story. 
Then they asked him, they knew how to join us in our cultural national exhibition. Got it? And as we mentioned, that they used to worship heavenly bodies. So those who are worshipping heavenly bodies, they believe in a sun so much. That everything is in the control of sun, moon and star. Setare kya ke te. Jo bhi ke te bakwa ke te. Yes. Prophet Salaam Salaam says, Man ata kahena, au harrapan, au najjaman, فَصَدَّقُوا فِي مَا قَالْ فَقَدْ كَفَرَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَى مُحَمَّدْ صلى الله عليه وسلم Whosoever came to an astrologer, a palm reader, yes, a soothsayer, yes, an expert in Ramad and Jephar, got it? فَصَدَّقَ For good teller. فَصَدَّقَهُ فِي مَا قَالْ And he believed in what he told him about future. فَقَدْ كَفَرَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَى مُحَمَّدْ صلى الله عليه وسلم He is believed the message which is brought by Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Because the message of Muhammad is صلى الله عليه وسلم that fortune is known to Allah سبحانه وتعالى Future is known only to Allah سبحانه وتعالى Nobody else knows what will happen to this guy and to that guy in future You know what I'm saying? These are but suppositions What? Because difficulties are there Difficulty? Uh, and we are not people of strong will, so they are, we are looking for professor. Not our professor. He is a professor. Yes, I am talking about who? Fortune teller. They are called back home in Pakistan, what? Professor. They are sitting on foot path and they are called professor. Yes. That he will tell you about your future. Yes, to keep up a parent here or a small word, follow there and things like that. And to look into the book and then to look at your... In astrology, so that's why Ibrahim Ali has said, What's around the kidney? He looked at the star. He looked at to make them to believe. So he looked at the star and he said, I am sick. I cannot join you. I am sick. I cannot join you. And they believed him because he looked at the star. And Ibrahim Ali has said, He said, I am sick. Yes, so he said it figuratively. Not literally. He did not mean sickness literally, but figuratively. Means, as we use the same word, I am sick and tired of you. So Ibrahim said, I am sick and tired of you. I am not going to die you. For nazara nazratan fin nujome, then he cast a glance at the star to deceive them. For kala inni sakemun, and he said, verily I am sick. فَتَوَلَّوْ غَنُ مُدْبِرِينَ So they turned away from him and departed. فَرَاغَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمْ Ibrahim turned to their gods. He came to their worship place. فَرَاغَ إِلَىٰ عَالِيَتِهِمْ Then he turned to their gods. And they used to bring sweet and halwa to their gods before going to their national exhibition. And when they were coming back, eating that stuff, that now that is accepted by God, we have to eat it now. So, yes, subhanallah, these big stars, what is stars in English? Huh? Platinum? Platinum, platinum. PLA? TTR. So, big platinum, full of sweet, this and that and that and that. In front of God. For Agaila Aliyatim, he turned to their God. For Kala and he said to them, to the idol, Allah ta kuluna. You do not eat. Ibrahim entered to the worship place and he said to the idol, why do you not eat? This sweet, you will enjoy this jalebi. That good as jama. Yes, this is Garda. فَقَالَ لَا تَاكُلُونَ Now they were idols. So Ibrahim said, مَا لَكُمْ لَا تَنْتِقُونَ What's the matter with you that you speak? Why are you not speaking? You are not happy. فَرَاغَ لَيْمْ ذَرْبًا بِالْيَمِينِ Then he turned upon them, striking them with his right hand with a axe or a sledgehammer. 
Ibrahim said to them, Atabuduna Mat and Hitona, do you worship that which you yourself make in Kharb? C A R V D, carving. Yes, making something from what? From stone. Yes, this Samhat is called carving. Wallahu Khalakakum wa Mata Maduna, while Allah has created you and what you make. Kadu they said, Ubnu lahu bunyana beswar him a building means an oven, a big oven, to throw him in blazing fire. Kadu ubnu lahu bunyana falku fil jahime and throw him in the blazing fire. Faradu bihe kedan, so they plotted a plot against him. Fajahannamu al-asfalina, but he made them the lovest. Means they got defeated. They couldn't harm Ibrahim. Alayhi salatu wa salam. The detail of this story is Surah Al-Ambiya. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا And indeed we had given Ibrahim Rushdo his maturity. Our intellectual approach. Rushdo means another meaning. Intellectual approach. مِنْ قَبْلُ بِفُوَ أَتَيْنِنْ بِهِ جَابِ وَرْدِ وَكُنَّا بِهِ عَالِمِينَ And we were well acquainted with him. إِذَا قَالَ لِيَبِهِ When he said to his father وَقَوْمِ Once again a reference to St. Rudy Bates. إِذَا قَالَ لِيَبِهِ When he said to his father وَقَوْمِ And to his people مَا عَذِ التَّمَاثِ What are these images you have made? I just images. What are these images اللَّتَيْنْ تُمْ لَا غَاكِفُونَ To which you are devoted. What is this? Devote. To which you are devoted. قَالُوا تَيْسِدْ وَجَدْنَا آبَانَا We found our forefathers لَهَا غَابِدِينَ Worshipping them. So we follow their footsteps. Otherwise we don't know anything about these images. The only thing we know, that's our culture. That's what? Our culture. قال إبراهيم سيد لقد كنتم أنتم وآباؤكم في ضلال مبين Indeed you and your forefathers have been in a manifest error In an obvious error قالوا تو دي سيد أجئتنا Have you come to us بالحق With some truth Have you brought up something new أم أنت من الله غبين Are you a fan of those who are playing about with us you are playing about with us. You are making a mock with to our being, or our belief, or our culture, or you have something new. The man said, no, I have something new, and not new, that's an ancient. But for you, that's a new. Kala he said, Parabhukum, but you are Lord. Rabbut Samawati, one of the Lord of the heavens, one of the in the earth. Allah says, Let Allah fatarahunna who created all this. Wa na'ala zalikum min ash-shayideen. And of this I am one of the witnesses. Wa tallahi and by God and by Allah la jid Allah asnamakum. I shall plot a plane to destroy it. Asnamakum you are idol. Ba'd antu wallu mudbirin after you have gone away and turned your back. When you will go to your... فَجَعَلَهُمْ جُزَادًا So he broke them to pieces. إِلَّا كَبِيرَ اللَّهُ Except the biggest one لَعَلَّهُمْ إِلَيْ يَرْجِعُونَ They they must my turn to him That you are the chief. What happened to your inferior? Or to my head? So Ibrahim, he cut it every single God except the biggest one. The biggest head. He left it. And in Hadith Prophet says that he hung the sledgehammer or the egg in his shoulder or in his neck. You know what I am saying? Got it? 
قال ابراہیم سر بلپالو کبیر محاد فتلوم سو آپ میں انکانو یلتکونا if they can speak if they can speak then you are God so ask them they will tell you who has done it to us فرجہو الى انفتیم so they turn to themselves yes look at me they were speechless so looking to each other like that So I said to them, just ask them, there you are God. They will tell you, who has done it to us? So then, look at each other. That's number one, Raja Ovid Al-Fusim, to each other. And the second one, For Raja Ovid Al-Fusim, they turn to themselves. They got ashamed of. Turn to themselves means, like this. Every one of them, he was unable to have an eye contact with Ibrahim. علیہ السلام فرجہو الہ خطیم فقالو and actually implicitly they were saying not expressly how فقالو انکم انتم الظالمون and they said to themselves implicitly that verily you are the wrong doers worshipping such like idols who cannot protect themselves So actually they were addressing themselves, not expressly, but implicitly. So manuke so ala rahu rahu zem, then they turned to themselves. Lakada limta, and they said to Ibrahim, Lakada limta, you know ma ha ulai yam tifun. That these gods cannot speak. They cannot speak. They said to Ibrahim, that you know, they cannot speak. قال ابراہیم سے رفتہ بدونا سو دن یو ورشپ افتہ بدونا سو دن یو ورشپ من دون اللہ بسائد اللہ ما دیت تنگ لا جن پاؤں ہو کے ناد اویل یو اینی تنگ گھر ولا یسور کو ان کے ناد ہام یو یہ دے کود ہیو دن ایت اف دے کود ہیو سپیک اف دے ار ناد سو دے کین اویل یو نتی Now they can harm you. So why do you people worship them? O Pilakum, fie upon you or woe to you. Fie, F-I-E, that's the actual literal meaning of O. O Pilakum, fie upon you, walima sabudona and upon that which you worship, min dunillahi besides Allah, apala taqilun, have you then no sense to understand? Got it? Now they were speechless. They did not have any answer to answer Ibrahim with. Alayhi salatu wa salam. What they said? People in authority, emergency. What? People in authority. And they do not have answer. So what they said? Yes, just emergency. So they said just emergency. Yes, no fundamental rules. Nothing. Everything is suspended. Huh? Yes, PTO. Yes, okay. There was a joke. There was a joke that not only came, if she was in need of telephone. So then, so he asked somewhere in Bazaar that I need a telephone call. So do you have a telephone? He said, no, no. I don't have any telephone. Look, in front of you there is PTO. Public call up there. He said, I am running from PTO. I am calling someone against PTO. You are putting me to PTO. قالو دے سے حرکو اونٹی دے پاکستانی دے انڈرکین وٹ آئی سے قالو حرکو ہو دے سے حرکو ہو بن ہم ونسرو آلیتکم این ہیلپ یو ارگاز ان کنتم پاغلو اف یو ویل بی ڈوئنگ سو دے میڈ ای بیٹ فائر پار ابراہیم این سے تو ابراہیم آلیہ السلام ان پیٹی فائر سو دے ابراہیم واس ترون ان بلیزنگ فائر Jibreel came to him and he said to Ibrahim, You are my friend, I am yours as well. I used to come to you from Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are in difficult situation, you are in hardship. So if you do need any help, I am here. May I help you? And that's the time, a time of faith and iman. Ibrahim said to him, Amma ilayka falah. You, I don't need you. You are a slave of Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, let me. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. So Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam said to Ibrahim, Wa ilallah, 
And do you need Allah and His help? Means, you should invoke Him. But Ibrahim said, Haddin is wali, ilmuhu bihani. He knows all about me. That what's the situation? Why should I invoke Him? If He wants me to be born here, that's for Him. Good pleasure, I'm very much happy. If He wants to protect me, He will protect me without my invocation. That's the matter of Islam. Belief. Got it? And that's why Allah must say, کہ آج بھی ہو جو ابراہیم کا ایمان پیدا بتا اللہ مجھے کہ آج بھی ہو جو ابراہیم کا ایمان پیدا آگ کر سکتی ہے انتاز گلستان پیدا کہ تجھے ایک سنبھالی ہوئے ہے اس طرح ایمان لائے کہ ابراہیم the fire will never harm him the fire will never harm him it is it did not harm ابراہیم because of this strong belief in Allah آج بھی ہو جو ابراہیم کا ایمان پیدا آگ کر سکتی ہے انداز گلستان پیدا ہے جو نو that the people who are doing that جوڑو کراتے what so جوڑو کراتے is actually a matter of a strong will that's what concentration and a matter of a strong will yes so you have to find the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 brick it's in like this and all that are broken with his power which is concentration. Which is what? Concentration. You know, a strong will. So if somebody will have the same strong will regarding his belief and demand, nothing will harm him. That's something very much logical. And we will never. Kya te o je Ibrahim ka iman peda. Yes, we are trying to be like Ibrahim. But we are unable to be like him. Why? Why? Because our belief in Allah is not that much strong. Belief in dollar is very strong. Yes, dollars work. Dollars work. And law works or not, maybe. But dollars say it works. And that's why Allah must have in another share. Nazar peda badi muskil se ho ki hai. Bada himi nazar peda badi muskil se ho ki hai. And what is second half of How was How was Chupke bana leti hai Sino me tasvire How was Chupke bana leti hai Sino me tasvire Barahimi nazar Or barahimi thinking Or barahimi asida And Ibrahimi faith and belief is That nothing can work Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ta'ala Nothing can help you, but only Allah can help you. Allah se honne ka yaki. Amitab. Or makhluk se na honne ka yaki. Creature can't do anything. Creator can do anything. Or everything. That's a matter of strong belief. Allah se na, Allah se honne ka yaki. Or makhluk se kuch se na honne ka yaki. But once again, that's a matter of strong will. It means Ibrahimi nazar. Ibrahimi sight. Yes, Ibrahimi ay, Ibrahimi fayl, Ibrahimi aqidah. So he said to Jibreel, Amma ilayka fala, wa amma ila Allah, wa hazbi min suwali ilmuhu bihadi. You, I don't need you. You are a weak person like me, being a weak slave of Allah. Here I am. You are a slave, I am a slave. There is no big difference. You are from angels and from human beings. But you are a slave, I am a slave. You need Allah, I don't need him. So he said, now ask Allah, Ibrahim said, no. حضی من سوالی علم ہو بحالی حضی من سوالی علم ہو بحالی for me that enough that he knows for me that enough regarding Allah that he knows what's going on he knows what's going on so Allah said قُلْ لَا يَا نَارُ قُونِ بَرْدًا وَسَلَامًا we said to the fire O fire قُونِ بَرْدًا be you coolness وَسَلَامًا اَنْ سَيْفْتِ عَلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمٍ فَارِ إِبْرَاهِيمٍ وَارَادُ بِهِ كَيْدًا اَنْ بِي دِسْكِيُوْدْ هِمْ وَارَادُ بِهِ كَيْدًا اَنْ دَي وَانْتِ تُحَامْ هِمْ فَجَعَلْنَا عُمُلَ الصَّنِيلِ But we made them the worst loser. We made them the worst loser. Now Ibrahim said that enough is enough. Ibrahim said that enough is enough. So in Babul, in Iraq, his village is called Ar, you are. His village is called Ar. 
So Ibrahim was running such in a prison. Now we have to leave this land and to go somewhere and to migrate. You know what I am saying? So with him, his wife was here, Sarah, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha, and his nephew, the son of his big brother Haran, his big brother's name was Harar ibn Azar, and his son was Lut. He was the only Muslim along with the wife of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam who believed in the message of Ibrahim. A young man, Lut alayhi salatu wa salam, was the nephew of Ibrahim. So he said, Lut, yes, sir, uncle, that we have to migrate. Sir, sir. Where? Say to the Holy Land. Where? To the Holy Land. So he migrated to Palestine. And Allah said, وَنَجْجَيْنَا وَلُوتًا And we received a man prophet to the earth in the sea, barakna feha, to that land which we have blessed, للعالمين for people. So we took them, where? To Palestine, to Al-Khalil, which is called Al-Khalil, where there is the cemetery of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, the masjid of Ibrahim is there. The grave of Ibrahim is there, alayhi salatu wa salam, al-khali, that's in right bank. That's in right bank. Al-khali is very famous. In news, you see every day almost, that something like that happened in al-khali. So Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam went there. So number four, that Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, he received from hellfire. And number five, he migrated, left his own homeland for the sake of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, that was test number five, that he was migrated to Palestine, which would like it. Number four is, that he was thrown in fire. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam never compromised and surrendered. That's number four or number five? Huh? That was four. And number five, that he is migrated from his own homeland to Palestine. So what further more? Inshallah next. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam wa rasuli Muhammad wa ali wa sahabi al-ma'i. Allah marbana akhtina 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 akht